Well, Frida, I'm curious now with time to have gone back and looked at it, anything change from your perspective from what you, you thought immediately after the game to, to now with a couple of days in between? Yes. Um, yeah, I watched uh, watch the game, as you know, and um, we start the game really well. Really well, this is, uh, it was the plan. Foot and uh, to play our game. So until the first goal, we were, we were um, good. Uh, I felt that also we were a bit not fragile, but uh, to, to to deal with the the the, the front three of uh, of Cincinnati. But we before the first goal, we. Uh, that we we took the first one we took the second one and when we took the second one uh, too much emotion so we were not playing we were fighting against ourselves in terms of uh, how to deal with uh, lack of uh, composure so we were running a bit all over the place we were complaining so i didn't like it at all at all at all at all so for, i would say for until the first goal that we scored all this gap was uh, was not good enough it was not good enough because yeah we this is the weakness a bit of uh, the group and we've been talking about it since the beginning of the year that uh, emotion is normal. We have to deal with that as a human being. But uh, there is a difference between good players and great players, good team and great team. They are able to handle the pressure when you have to deal with adversity. So after the first goal that we scored, we did a really, really, really good game. Uh, we controlled the, the game again. Uh, half time, yes, I was not happy. I was not happy because uh, like I told them, it's, it, it's football to have moments where the battle of power is going to be from the opposite team. We have to deal with that. And we have to control our emotion. We have to play with passion, we have to play with emotion, but at the same time, we have to find a way to stay on the task. And we didn't do it. And we also, we had also a, a lack of courage. And I cannot accept that. The way we play, we, this is, like I told, I told them, courage for me, this is the most important virtue. Can I say that? Because without courage, it's impossible to do a lot of things. So, professional life or private life. So I didn't like it at all. Second half, I was not surprised. Then, I was really proud of them in terms of the way that they came back with the 2-2. Two -two. And yes, after that, the third goal. The third goal, this is like I told you, uh, ask my goalkeeper to play, they know that. Uh, but play, uh, they know that play doesn't mean play short. You can play, uh, play try to play the free man. But uh, voila, this is life. We have to go through that because uh, decision making, you know, sometimes we try to teach a lot of things to, the, to someone. And the only way for this person to understand really what does it mean, he has to face that. So it was not a good moment. To be honest with you, you know that. It was a really, really, really hard to, uh, for everyone because we were close to win this game, I think, because we had the momentum. But uh, yeah, decision-making and uh, like I told uh, Pat, 99% uh, we play, but 1%, if this is not clear, he knows what he has to do. 
but at the same time also what I gave uh, what kind of a message I gave to my player is when Pat got the ball got the ball nobody show to help him and we have to show all the time because we have, we have clear concept after that it's all about decision making it's but we have clear concept for that so yeah we considered the third goal and it was it was difficult but we kept going and kept going and kept going again we were close to to score the third one so to summarize um yeah painful painful because uh, we the story of the game was uh, was a good story but it ended up in a way that uh, we uh, we kill ourselves so but we have to go through that but uh, i was really pleased pleased with the way we uh, we we played uh, against for the moment one, one of the best team of the the league the way they are so efficient with uh, two different styles but uh, in a big environment like this, we are close to do something. But in terms of uh, result, yeah, we are. This is not what we wanted, but we have to go forward. When you have, I don't, I don't want to say young, young players, but players, inexperienced, less experienced players that that have to play right now because of injuries or, or whatever the case may be. Do you consider tweaking more so your style or going away from that a little bit ever? No, you stick with it. Is because that just to learn? This is uh, my style. is not is not about try to uh, play short ball. Yeah, right. No, my style is uh, try to play the free man. So the free man is uh, uh, it could be behind the line, it could be between the line, it could be around. So uh, we've been yes, if we put the outcome or the results on the table. We should have had more points for sure, but we we lost the game in Cincinnati because we were fragile mentally. I don't like to talk about this because a friend of mine is a, is a mental preparator. He's gonna say, hey, "Stop talking! Stop talking about the mental aspect when you when you lose." <laughs> but uh, but. But yeah, I had some discussion with the players, and this is the case. This is the case, so they choose their other thing. So, and for that, in, in terms of a young player, old player, the message that I have when, with my players is the way uh, the team has been made. Uh, I knew that some situation will come like this. Uh, we wanted to do better, yes. But uh, the leaders of the group, they have also to, everybody has to help everybody. And for me, at a certain moment, the, 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 the last game, we had, a, we had a lack of that for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So when I put someone on the pitch, this is not about the age, this is about the quality that he has. So, so yes, it's been a first uh, game, first rivalry for a lot of players. We knew it, but again, the way they handled that was, has been really interesting. But we face a mature, more mature team, for sure, in terms of minutes, I would say. But uh, yeah, this is the way it is for the moment, but um, I'm confident we we stay with the same spirit when we started the game and when, after we scored the first goal. If we stay like that, yeah, we're going to be able to travel. So, but uh, for the moment, again, I don't feel in the future. But uh, young, old, this is not an issue for me. And uh, I know who I put on the pitch, and uh, I know why I put them. And after that, we we'll see. You mentioned even before <clears throat> coming out of the LA game, uh, the rest defense and, and things like that. Do you are you concerned about some defensive things right now that that maybe? need to be adjusted. I, you, you've mentioned it a couple times yeah. mentioned after the game, obviously. Yeah. Um, so I'm just curious where your kind of concern level is with, with how you guys are playing, and not just the back line, yeah, yeah. team defense. Yeah, so, listen, I had a good discussion with uh, the center back, and um, we didn't change the way we played, uh, because this is 
the way we want to play and also this is the way that I believe that we can win game. Uh, now we have to stay on the task, we cannot overthink it and they were overthinking at certain moment. Deal with the pressure, not easy for them again. I don't like to talk like that, but it's true that, and this is my responsibility, uh, uh, it was new for Phil Quinton, it was new for Pat, it was new also for uh, Goose to come back uh, uh, to play against his uh, uh, ex-club. So the front three players, was also, they were also good, but it doesn't change. When we play against uh, Benteke, example, one of the best players of the league, they did well. So leave the present moment. Don't think about the, yes, but if I do that, or if it's here, what I'm going to do, doesn't change the task, doesn't change what we want to do. So this is my message. This is something that we, we need, and they, they need also to uh, more believe at certain moments. Be confident, humble, but be confident. And we had a lack of that at certain moments. That's why we were in between against Cincinnati, the 15 minutes when we showed up. Second half, no problem. The first 15 minutes, no problem. So how we can explain that we were fragile for 15 minutes, but after that, the rest of the game, we were good. This is the game, this is football. Sometimes you cannot control, this is emotion, tennis, all the professional sport, this is like this. There is moment that you cannot explain, you have to face that. And to face that, you have to leave it. This is the first time. I will not have the same attitude if we play the uh, same style of play tomorrow and we do the same mistake no because if you repeat three or four times the same mistake this is an habit so but we 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 are pretty good on that usually but now this is more about this how we can face this kind of adversity like you said sort of Games will be back Saturday, and then you turn around and have to play Wednesday in the Open Cup. How do you, I guess, just kind of take the lessons from Saturday and work through them into this Wednesday? I'm happy because, you know, when you regarding the, the last game that we had, uh, it was not easy at uh, the outcome. So the fact that we're going to play in two days, this is perfect because we have to focus on the next game. And uh, as you know, this is always the next move that comes. So. We focus on Wednesday uh, because we want to go as far as possible in every competition. And after that, when we will come back from Pittsburgh, the, ob the objective was to really be to focus on national. But uh, quick turnaround, this is football, this is our job, so we have to move forward. Can you talk about those moments where they lack the lead for 15, 20 minutes at a time or whatever? How do they kind of have to learn to maintain that for a full 90 minutes? Like, what can you do, I guess, to sort of help them through this? Discussion with the player that they have been there already, that they know, and how we can define a leader. What does it mean to be a leader in the team? What can we do as, as a leader to help uh, the, the team? Be better. So it's been the discussion with them. And when I'm saying leader, this is not only the old player, this is a few players. And after that, uh, face the reality, to be honest with them, and uh, tell them the situation, uh, tell them where we are, uh, where we want to go, and what we need to improve. So, and to be crystal honest with them. So, and this is what we did with my staff. And after that, like I told you, the group that I have, I believe that, uh, not I believe, I know that 99% uh, of them, because we are not sure, but uh, that's why I, I like uh, to use 99%, that uh, they want to do well, all the time. Now, the emotion that, the lack of a composure and emotion that they had uh, during the 15 minutes is because they were not able to cope with the struggle in terms of we were playing good and we suddenly boom something changed how do we deal with that it's like uh, 
it's like uh, I am uh, at home and I want to uh, have a nice dinner with my wife and suddenly a friend of mine come knock on the door no it was not the plan so I have to deal with that so this is the same situation for the player knowing that there are 25,000 people behind them so be honest with them and tell them the situation to move forward and try to create also this uh, interaction, this uh, discussion for them to exp they have to express themselves and be demanding with them. We've seen Kevin and Josh both back on the field over the last week or so. Are there any updates on their progress? Happy for them, they, they are back. Not to play games, but uh, for the moment everything is going well, so hopefully in the future they will be able to help us. Uh, Yeah. Hey guys, just a quick one off here. Um, what does Keegan do to earn that second match? Keegan? Mm -hmm. He's gonna come. You know, he's. Um, I'm really, really happy with Keegan. Um, we 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 had a, we smiled uh, two weeks ago because I had a discussion with him, telling him, "Do you remember how you started the when he came here? He was a real university player." not in a negative way, but he needed to adjust with what we do on the pitch. He struggled a lot. And now he's able to do things that he was not able to do uh, one month ago. So uh, I'm happy about his uh, improvement. So now the moment we come for him to play, but uh, I'm happy with him about the way he's been better in every phase of the game. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.